What's going on guys? This is Brad Darian and today I'm really excited because today I'm going to be upgrading the graphics card in my computer. Now if you've been following me for a little while you may already know that I built this PC last year in April of 2022 and in that build I put in all new parts. This is all new hardware with the exception of the graphics card. I've just been holding off on upgrading it so this is still the same a GPU that I was using in my old computer um, but just recently I decided to finally to finally upgrade it and get a new graphics card well it's new to me but it's technically not new we'll go in more details on that a little later um, now right now I'm using an EVGA NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 I've been pretty loyal to NVIDIA the past 10 or more years um, you know, I've just always stuck with them. Um, but I have used ATI, or now known as AMD, Radian. I have used their cards, but a long time ago. I think the last ATI card I used was an 9600 XT All-in-Wonder card, which is a graphics card with a capture card built into one. So it was pretty cool, but that was back in, like, 2005. I don't think they do those anymore. Um, but, uh, but I was looking into upgrading to, um, the RTX, uh, like 3000 series, like the 3080 or the 3070, um, and, and of course what I would rather do is get NVIDIA's newest cards, which is the 4000 series, but they're very expensive, they're like over a thousand dollars for like the 4080, the 4090, so a lot of money, and I did not want to spend that much. I wanted something that was a bit more budget-friendly because I don't game on PC a whole lot. Um, I just wanted something that was better than what I had, but still not super expensive. So that's why I looked back at AMD, or ATI, as it was uh, known as. And I was researching their cards a little bit and decided to get this. The Radeon... RX 6800 XT. This is kind of equivalent to a 3080. Maybe not quite as powerful, but still pretty close. It's got 16 gigabytes of VRAM, which is more than what the 3080 has. And it has PCI Express 4.0 support. So yeah, this should be a very, very good upgrade over what I currently have either way. So we'll be unboxing this in just a minute. And this is the box for the graphics card that I'm currently using. This is, again, the GTX 1070. As some of you may know, I keep all the boxes for all my hardware. But anyway, in this video, we're going to be focusing on this, the RX 6800 XT. So we're going to put it in my computer and see how it performs. But first, let's just unbox it. All right, so here it is, the Radeon. RX 6800 XT. It's a very long box. Now, like I said, this was used, so it's not sealed, but it is. It's still boxed up pretty nicely. So we'll just take it out. The sleeve. There we go. Now, should be able to open it up. Let's see these flaps come open. There we go. Take a look at it. Yeah, look at this. This is, let's see, this card, mm, yeah, it's kind of heavy. And I'm definitely going to say it is bigger than the uh, 1070. It might not be that much bigger, but I think it definitely is thicker, though. Yeah, look at that. So, looks in really good shape. I mean, it looks like it's hardly been used at all, honestly. Uh, now, I will say that the seller that I bought this from on eBay, uh, he was selling a lot of these. So, I'm not exactly sure where he got them from. This might have possibly been used for mining, maybe. I don't know that for sure, but um, it's just a possibility. But this looks like it was hardly used at all. You know, like it definitely wasn't used in like a gaming setup or whatever like either there they cleaned it up really really well um, but either way um you know hopefully this lasts a long time like if it was used for mining i'm not very familiar with that um that might reduce 
some longevity or something, but either way, though, hopefully uh, this lasts long enough for me. And see, is there anything else in the box? No. No, there's nothing else left in the box, so no uh, no CD software or anything, which is fine because you can download that over the internet anyways. But anyway, yeah, so this is the new graphics card. It's It's really big. It's got some heft to it. So let's install it. Now before we install the new card, I'm going to uninstall the drivers for the current uh, GPU. So to do that, I'll go to Manage, and go to Device Manager, and Display Adapters. Here's the 1070, and now we'll uninstall Device. And attempt to remove the driver. Screen will probably go black for a little bit, but, and there it is. I think it's already uninstalled. There might be some leftover software that I'll also remove. And one last thing I'll show is that here is a 3D mark, a uh, benchmark that I ran with the six, uh, with the 1070 just now, and these were the results. So keep a note of this score here for the graphics. This was 6072. This is the time spy. A benchmark and this is the system information right here GTX 1070 uh, 1440p uh, core i7 12700k a, a processor so we'll run this benchmark again after I install the new card and see what the difference is but for now before we do that though we have to install the new card so let's get this one out of here and put the new one in Okay, well upon further inspection, uh, this new card is actually much longer than the old card. Um, and this is a full tower case, and I think this is barely going to fit in there, but we'll try to make it happen. Um, now with the old card, uh, the old card only needed the one uh, power cable going to it. But the new card has two uh, power inputs, so I had to hook up this additional uh, cable here for the new graphics card. So I had to hook up this additional wire to the power supply, which was kind of a pain because I had to take out the power supply, we'll loosen it, and then take this cover off, which is held in by screws in the back. And I took out the sound card too, just in case that helped. So that took a little bit more time, but anyway, that's all ready to go. So now we can take this old card out which is held in by two screws here. So we'll take that one out and take this one. So now I press that in and now the card slides right out. Although it helps if you undo the cables in the back first, which I forgot to do. There we go. Alright, so here's the old card, the GTX 1070. It is now free. So I'm doing a little bit of cleaning up to this. I'll probably just resell it. Still works just fine. But now the big challenge is getting the new card in there, which is a lot bigger than this one. So we'll do that next. Well, I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is I was able to manage to get this card installed in here. But the bad news is, is that look how tight it is. I mean, like, I was legitimately concerned uh, for a minute that this was not going to fit in here. Because, I mean, look how much room there is here. I mean, like, it's almost touching. And again, this is a full-size case, and this just barely fits. And I also had to take out the sound card again, and my capture card. And the sound card goes here, and the capture card goes right there. 
I mean, like, look at this. This is really, really tight. I think it'll work, but it's really tight. And these wires here, uh, this is a Molex connector to hook up to the sound card for its RGB lighting. I am now not able to get this to come down to here where it belongs. So I'm going to have to push it back through this mess of wires here and get it to come down through here, which I guess I probably should have done to begin with, but I'm going to do it now. But anyway, and the, the two power connectors are connected. So it's installed, but man, if this card was any longer, it would not have worked at all. This is definitely, this is actually much bigger than the 1070 was. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so it's in though, and so I, I'm going to mess with those wires there, and then we'll boot this up, and we'll install the drivers. Alright, so everything is now plugged back in, and closed up. Graphics card is just barely resting in there. The other two cards are back in and plugged in. A little bit more of a challenge to install than I anticipated, but I think I still made out fairly well. So now if I third to do is turn the power back on. And now we'll boot it up and we'll see what happens. All right, so far so good. I like those lights, but let's see if we get video. All right, well, we're at the desktop. And there's the graphics card, 6800 XT. So far, I think it's gonna work. All right, the AMD software is installing. It's installing the drivers right now. So, so far, so good. So again, after this is all installed, we will run that benchmark again, and we'll see what scores we get. All right, so all software and drivers are installed. So now we're going to run this benchmark again, and we'll see what happens. Here we go, this is graphics test one. Pretty good so far. I think the 1070 was only getting like 30 or 40 frames in this uh, test. Alright, now it's graphics test 2. Once again, we're getting fairly smooth frame rates here. I mean, when I game on PC, I really only aim for 60 frames, like as long as it's 60 frames I'm happy. I don't need it to be 100 frames or more, I mean I'd be perfectly happy with 60 frames. And so far this is, you know, this is definitely getting above that. Alright, now we're doing the CPU test. This shouldn't be any different than the last test, but we'll see. GPU might play a part in this test too. All right, and then we're already getting results. <laughs> and yeah, check that out. 
the graphics score is now higher than the CPU score. So obviously a huge improvement. With the 1070, the graphics score, if you remember earlier in the video when I showed the results from the 1070, the graphics score was only like 6,000 something. Now it's 19,000. So that's so that's literally like triple the performance. And again, here's system information. Now using the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT. Everything else is the same. So yes, much, much, much better. Well, there you have it, guys. I now have an AMD Radeon 9600 XT card. And I think it's going to do very well for me. I think I should now be getting much higher frame rates in all of the games I play. And to be fair, even with the 1070, I was getting playable frame rates in the games I was playing. But they were definitely like under 60 frames most of the time. They may have been like between 30, 40 frames per second. Still playable, but not as smooth as... Most people, you know, most serious gamers would like. And even though, I mean, I don't consider myself a hardcore gamer, um, but you can definitely tell that 60 frames is definitely more smoother. And so it'd be nice to have, uh, you know, hopefully all the games I play now in 1440p will be at least 60 frames per second. So even though I've always been loyal to NVIDIA and NVIDIA might do ray tracing a bit better, like... Uh, this card will do ray tracing, but there's more of a performance hit, I think, uh, when you use ray tracing. But, you know, but again, I mean, ray tracing is also optional. Like, if you're just looking to get stable, smooth frame rates in your games, and you're playing in 1440p or under, I think this card will be great. Uh, now, if you're really wanting to get 4K gaming, if you're really wanting to get true 4K games... You probably need to step up to like an NVIDIA 4000 series or maybe even AMD's newer 7000 series that they're coming out with this year. In fact, I think the uh, the 7090 is uh, uh, the 7900 rather. The 7900 is already out, I believe. Um, but and I'm guessing later this year they'll come out with probably a 7800 and a 7700 and down the line. Uh, but I think overall, as far as pure value is concerned, like for a dollar per frame rate, you know, uh, for a dollar per frame, I think the 6800 XT is a good bet. So I think I made a good choice. Um, you know, at some point in the future, I may have an NVIDIA card again, but for now, I think I'm going to be rocking with AMD. Um, so, because uh, I think it does give you perhaps a better, like I said, a better value with AMD. Oh, oh, uh, whereas with NVIDIA, you might be getting a slight edge in some ways, but th the extra cost, though, especially with the 4000 series, may not be worth it for most more casual gamers like me. But anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. If you have this card or you have an NVIDIA card, let me know. But again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.